Hey guys, welcome back. So today I did this look. I don't know what to call it. Um, I got these lashes by a company called Lashes by Lena because Jaclyn Hill used them and there was a coupon code and I was like, hello, I'm, I'm gonna need that because I love Jaclyn Hill and I wanted some pretty lashes. And these are them and they are amazing, but I don't feel like I can pull them off because my eyes are so small. I don't know if I just, I'm sorry I keep looking this way, I'm just looking in the viewfinder. I, not the viewfinder, my little, you know, playback thing. But I just, I don't know, I'm really freaked out, but I'm kind of into them and they look really nice on camera. Um, I really like them, but I wanted to do like a kind of a date night look because uh, Valentine's Day is coming up and my anniversary is coming up and I wanted to use this red lip, which is uh, one of the Stila liquid lipsticks that lasts forever, like perfect for eating, for drinking, for smooching. And I wanted to have like a really nice glowy skin and I wanted to use these lashes. So this is the look that I came up with. I used a bunch of new products um, like on my eyebrows and I used a highlighter you guys haven't seen yet. Um, but I, re I mean, I like these lashes, but I feel like they're definitely special occasion lashes. Like I can't just throw them on like Jaclyn Hill and go about my day. Um, it's definitely super fun. So for a special occasion, go for it, but I don't think I could wear these all the time. Um, but anyways, enough blabbing from me. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then please just keep on watching. So to start, we are going to use this L'Oreal Lumi Primer. We are going to apply that to the high points of our face. This is going to make our foundation glowy from within, and it's going to make it last a lot longer. For foundation, I'm using this Revlon Photo Ready, and then I'm using a Real Technique sponge to buff that in that is damp. This is going to help intensify the glowy factor of our foundation. We are going for a nice glowy skin, so using a damp sponge really helps to give that effect. So I'm just bouncing that sponge all over my face. One pump of this foundation really seems to do the trick, and I've really been loving it. So it's the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation. For concealer, of course, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear in NW20, so applying that under my eyes and then whatever's left I apply usually on my chin where I need a little extra coverage, using my sponge once again to buff that in, and then using the warmth of my fingers to make sure that's nice and blended into the skin. We aren't going to apply powder all over the face, but we definitely need it for under the eye to set that under eye so it doesn't crease, and then a little bit over the lids as well so that our eyeshadow goes on nice and smooth. For liquid highlighter, I'm using this one by NYX, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's more of a pinky toned highlighter. So again, just applying that to the high points of our face. So along the cheeks and then a little bit down the nose and on the cupid's bow as well. I'm also going to apply a little bit of that above the eyebrow. For eyebrows today, I'm using something different. This is a pencil, I believe, by Maybelline, but of course I'll leave it down below. So this has a little brush on one end and then a tiny, tiny little pencil on the other end. This is the first time I used it and I really do like it and I think that it gives a nice effect to the brows. The color match is pretty good as well. It's nice and small so it makes it so that it looks like you have tiny little sparse hairs instead of one big block. So then again just using the other side to comb the brows through and then for gel I'm using this Maybelline Brow Drama Gel. This is going to add a little bit of extra color and also set our brows. So this is one side tamed and the other side not tamed but don't worry, I do it off camera. To start for the eyeshadows, I'm using Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream. This is my favorite transition shade, so just applying that kind of all over the lid as well as the crease. And then to intensify that crease, I'm going to use a Latte, of course, by Makeup Geek once again. This is going to add definition to the crease, make it nice and warm and lovely. I think this is my favorite eyeshadow for adding that effect to the eye. To darken up the outer V, I'm using Makeup Geek Mocha, so applying that with an outer V brush first, just kind of packing it on with that brush, and then I'm going to go in with a blending brush to blend it in. So you can go back and forth as many times as you want to intensify that outer V as much as you'd like. Next, we're going to create a wing, and I'm using this Maybelline Gel Liner and an angled brush by e.l.f. So I wanted to show you guys kind of the full process, but not for as long as it actually takes. So I did speed this part up so you can kind of see how I do it. So I'll start on the outside with my eye open and kind of draw the wing where I want it, and then turn the um, 
pencil, not the pencil, the brush back and drag it back towards my eye and then just smooth out that line. So it just takes a little bit of practice. I think everybody really can pull off a winged eyeliner. You just need to give it a try. You're not going to get it right off the bat. It is hard, but I think a gel liner is a really good place to start if you don't usually do a winged liner. Then I'm just going to add one coat of mascara to my lashes because we are going to go in with a pair of false lashes. These are lashes by Lena in the style Bianca. Jaclyn Hill used them in one of her videos and on her it looked quite natural and really, really beautiful and fluttery, but on me it looks so much more dramatic. I think it's because my eyes are absolutely tiny. So after I applied them both, you can see my reaction. I was pretty overwhelmed by how they looked, but I figured once we pulled the look together, it would all look nice. So next I'm using Latte and Mocha underneath my eyes just to define them. And then to really open up the eye, I'm using this Nude Pencil by Rimmel. I didn't want to close off my eye because I felt like the top lashes were already so heavy, so I didn't want to put black under there to close them off. I wanted a nude to open them up. Then I'm just applying one coat of mascara to the bottom lashes and moving on to the cheeks again to keep it nice and glowy. I'm going to use a um, cream blush and this is by NYX. So first applying it with my fingers and then buffing it out with the sponge. To further intensify that highlight, I'm taking this Kitten All Over Shimmer by Stila and applying that to the cheeks as well as uh, the, down the nose and the cupid's bow as well, anywhere we had previously placed that liquid highlighter. Finally, for lips, I'm using the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Beso. Again, I wanted to show you kind of how long it takes without actually showing you how long it takes. So just carefully apply that all over your lips. I did have to use my finger to kind of clean up the edge a little bit, and then I'm going to grab a tiny, tiny little brush by Real Techniques to just make sure to smooth out those edges so that they're nice and even. So that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do subscribe and give this a thumbs up, and I will see you again soon. Bye!